Good morning. It's such a lovely day today. You can hear, I think, the birds. Uh, the sun is shining. Ah, in my eyeballs. So I don't know how it happened, but my very first YouTube video appears to have been uh, an accidental success. Who knew that dish soap and getting frustrated at pipes would resonate with so many people? Not I. But now I'm working on my next video, which I thought I would do a little tour of the land. I'm not going to take you inside the house just now. It's uh, extra terrifying because I'm working on my kitchen and I've completely ripped everything apart. There's all kinds of craziness happening in there, so um, do not look beyond me. Uh, that'll be a different tour once I have a chance to tidy up a bit. But I thought I would take you on a little stroll around the land, uh, show you what I have here. So my land is uh, 1,800 square meters large, um, or for anybody who uses that wacky imperial system uh, malarkey, uh, it's a half an acre which is plenty, plenty for one person. Reading stuff like the land is a half an acre, or the land is 1,800 square meters, before I actually saw the land, uh, it's really hard to visualize that kind of thing. So now that I'm on my land, I know exactly what a half an acre is. Um, it's just the perfect size, I think. It is quite difficult to find properties around here that aren't enormous. So many places just sort of start at a, at a hectare, and that's, yeah, that's a lot. I have lots of friends that have two hectares or more, they have forests, they've got all sorts of stuff to manage, they've got all kinds of grass to cut. You have to keep your property fire safe and that is a lot of work. So my place is small and so all that maintenance work that other people do with larger pieces of land isn't something that I really have to do so much. I like the simple life. I'm going to design this place uh, to maximize my chill out time. Uh, that chill out time probably won't come for a very long time, I've got lots to do, but once I actually have the place sort of designed, hopefully it kind of all manages itself um, in some magical way that I have yet to determine. So uh, using permaculture principles. I think we'll start up on the top terrace um, and then go down from there. So the land is made up of um, four main terraces. The first terrace, the top terrace is where the house is. The next terrace down will be my garden terrace. It's also where I have my water cistern. Uh, the water comes out of a mysterious hole in the bottom of the terrace. The hole of mystery, I call it. I don't know where the water comes from. I don't know what happens if it stops flowing. But for now, there's water. Um, and then the next terrace down is kind of uh, the unknown terrace. It has a giant rock going across most of it. So planting trees down there isn't, isn't a possibility. I might aim to put some sort of a greenhouse slash workshop sort of thing down there, but it's still to be determined. And then further down, the final terrace is going to be, it's the largest terrace and it's my food forest terrace. There's also a well down there. Um, there's three orange trees that were already there and I've planted a bunch of other trees, which I'll show you. All right, let's go for a little walk around my land and I'll show you um, what I'm up to and uh, yeah, what I'm hoping to do, and yeah, just uh, show you my little piece of, of Portugal. So coming out of my front door, I've got a pretty amazing view over a lovely valley. This direction is the city of Castelo Branco, and over those uh, mountains slash hills uh, is a, a city called Fundao, and I'm kind of part way between both of them. All right, so here's my house. Uh, it's definitely a work in progress. I'll show you that on a different video. Um, one of my main projects at the moment is building a sexy front porch. I don't know why this is important to me, but it is. Um, so I'm working on some garden beds in the front. I'm gonna put some flowers here. I built this little rock wall uh, to make a garden uh, there. I've got some jasmine and I'm hoping that it'll grow. I need to put up a trellis and give me some privacy. Uh, my land, the one thing I don't love about it is that it doesn't have a lot of privacy. This track here is um, a public track, and cars don't drive down it, but people do walk up and down. And it's nice to chat to people, but it's also nice to not chat to people. This part over here is my disaster zone. I have actually tidied it up recently, which is probably hard to believe. Um, I've got an IBC tank here. This is the one I used for my um, house water. Uh, it comes from the cistern, uh, which I'll show you in a minute. Got some firewood here. I've stacked most of it over here under that blue tarp. So that's kind of my firewood store. I've got some plants in pots. Um, 
more plants in pots and a little cold frame greenhouse where I have a bunch of things on the go for my garden. Oh, this is my car. It cost me 400 euros. And then I accidentally exploded the engine um, and that cost me 800 euros in addition. So that's not smart. Ladies and gentlemen, pay attention to your temperature gauge uh, and keep your water topped up. Uh, lesson learned the hard way. So this is the top terrace. Um, I have another, some hazelnut trees, some comfrey. I have another IBC tank here, and this is where I will water my garden from. So down here is the next terrace. I have these stairs of treachery that in the summer they sort of harden, the soil hardens, but in the winter it gets very um, crumbly and at least a few people, including myself, have totally stacked it on the stairs. So. Fixing these stairs or turning them into something that looks more like stairs and less like a slide is definitely a, a job I need to do, but it's one of approximately 475,001 jobs that I have to do, so it's not a priority, but I'll get to it eventually. So here's the hole of mystery. Water flows out of this, uh, and yeah, and I use it. Right now it's pretty algae-y, um, so I need to empty it, I need to repair it, I need to give it a clean. And over there, submerged, you can see, I think, a water pump sticking out. It's a submersible pump. Um, and after a lot of headaches with a different type of pump, I'm really happy with that one. I have these lilies, which though they look beautiful, they're actually kind of invasive. And they keep popping up in annoying places. Um, they're fine here by the tank. They're fine here as well, but I have a big mound of them in my garden, which is not fine. I have a lemon tree. It's probably my favorite thing on the land. Uh, it's absolutely loaded, as you can see. I gave it a pretty hard prune when I first moved in, so I wasn't sure how it would do, because I really don't know what I'm doing when it comes to pruning. But uh, it seems very happy. I love the shade it gives, and I just love lemons, so that's good. And this is my third IBC tank. These things are a thousand liters each, and this is where I'm gonna water my trees from. Uh, I'm gonna do a video about my water systems um, and also set up some irrigation at the same time. So more to come on water. More to come on the exciting world of water. This here is my poo bucket. I poo into a bucket in my house and I empty that bucket into a larger bucket. Uh, yes, possibly more information than you wanted, but there it is, you know, poo. It happens, we've gotta deal with it. I've got some grapevines growing here which is pretty cool. Um, some shrivelly up grapes over here. Ooh, I wonder if these are raisins. Nope, they're just dust. So that's my garden terrace. Um, I think it's really beautiful. You can't really go wrong when you have a giant lemon tree and a whole bunch of lilies and just beautiful stone terraces and things like that. So it was already stunning before I even did anything. Um, and now I'm trying to yeah, make some interesting garden beds yeah, so stepping down from the garden terrace, I've got my third terrace, um, which I'm not really sure what to do with, so I'll probably just ignore it for the foreseeable future. I have a few hazelnut trees over there. I'd like to have a living fence where I weave them together in some way. Do I know how to do this? I do not, but I can hopefully figure it out. There's a small terrace wall here. So it's my third terrace, but there's sort of a, a little division in it. Here's an apple tree. I'm gonna be making guilds around each tree. Yesterday I had some helpers from a friend's farm um, and they did these guilds for me and they also planted this avocado tree, which I'm very excited about. This isn't where I would have chosen to put it. Um, it's a bit exposed, but everywhere I wanted to put it. When we dug down, there was a rock. I think this rock here basically is just some gigantic rock that exists to piss me off. It basically goes all the way over there and it goes into, I think, half the garden. Uh, I've tried to dig a whole bunch of holes for trees and I have encountered this. It's frustrating, but um, you know, you just have to adjust your design and come up with something different. Maybe on this terrace over here where my compost bins are and stuff, maybe I'll move those. And because the rock is here, perhaps I'll put some sort of a structure here instead. So yeah, you just kind of have to adapt. I planted a few trees. Um, one almond tree over there has survived, another one died, and I also planted 
a couple of walnuts which have since perished. One good thing about this land is, well, maybe it's a good thing and a bad thing. So I have the path uh, coming down. It's more of a walking path. So it means I don't have a huge amount of privacy when people walk past, but it does mean that I have basically a kind of a ramp that goes the length of my property. So when you get down here to the forest terrace, which is my food forest area, you can see that I have quite a large terrace wall. So bringing a wheelbarrow from the third terrace down to the fourth terrace would be pretty tricky. I'd have to somehow scale a cliff, which is not ideal with a wheelbarrow. Um, but because I have that path uh, running up and down the edge of my land, it means I can use it as a wheelbarrow road, which is pretty awesome. Right there behind this olive tree is the one of the corners of my land. Um, the land comes down in sort of a pie shape, so the top by the house is sort of the pointy end of the pie, and then it comes down in a wedge, and this is one of the wedge corners. And the other side is over there. Maybe you can see the the blue uh, fire store up there, uh, and it just gives you an idea of you know how small the property is. There's just so much life down here. You have this gigantic uh, fennel skeleton here, uh, and then little fennel baby. It's made of fennel baby, so this is just growing wild, which is really cool. It's super tasty. I love a bit of fennel, so it's amazing to have that. So I have all kinds of wild peas growing down here. Just, they're just everywhere, and these are really good for fixing the nitrogen in the soil. Um, so I'm going to hazard a guess and say that the soil down here is pretty amazing. Um, my trees have done really well. I've had, well, I've had kind of a the Great Grape Massacre of 2021, which I will do another video on. Um, it was a sad, sad day. I planted so many grapes and then I neglected them and they all perished. Um, spoiler alert, they all died except for one. Uh, one thing I love about this terrace is these amazing terrace walls. I just think they're so cool. I love rocks, uh, using rocks to build, and I'm going to try to incorporate uh, rocks a lot in the stuff that I do. Uh, I have another water tank over here, which is definitely leaky. I think there might even be a water source, another hole of mystery, somewhere in amongst all this uh, chaos. Um, you can see some water down there. Um, the entire land is plumbed, so that pipe here comes down from the top tank and I can turn a tap on down here. Again, in amongst the chaos, there's a tap and I've got a hose, so that allows me to water the trees down here. Um, and I've got a well down here. Um, the water level fluctuates based on what, I do not know. Seems like when it rains, it goes lower and when it's dry, it goes higher. I don't know what that's about. Um, I do need to put a barrier on this ASAP. It's pretty unsafe. Um, you know, I can't imagine people would be wandering around here too much on my, my land, but animals could be strolling onto here. Uh, so I want to put some kind of a cap on that soon. I'd love to have some chickens down on this terrace. Um, I'd like to have guilds around all of the fruit trees uh, and just eventually sort of build up all of the, the life down here under the food forest canopy. Obviously the canopy will take a while to develop, the trees are just babies, but um, I'd love to have a nice little shaded spot down here for the chickens to roam around in and scratch around in. Um, and maybe, I don't think I have space for a pond, but I like the idea of a pond. I think it's a really beautiful piece of land in general. I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, honestly, if I would have arrived and touched nothing, it still would have been beautiful. Um, I'm happy to have put some trees in the ground. It's always a good thing to plant a tree. and. I think I can design some really cool things to just make it uh, my little paradise here in Portugal. It'll be a lot of work. Uh, it's going to be a work in progress for many, many years. But for me, the process is the actual thing that I enjoy. Um, so I don't mind. I don't. I want it to take a long time. I want to wake up every day and have a massive list of tasks to do uh, that work towards this sort of final goal. Um, which I don't even really know what the final goal is yet. But that's also evolving, which is exciting. Um, so that's my last terrace. Let's take a walk up this very, very treacherous ramp um, with this spiky thing here. Beyond the spiky thing, ah, beyond the yellow flowers. Climb up, climb up, and now I'm 
back up on my third terrace. Let's continue up to the garden. And then up to this little mini terrace. This up here is the neighbor's property. Um, back to the lemon tree and the water tank. And then back up the steps of treachery to the top terrace, which is where I have my house. So there you have it, a little tour of my land. Um, she's small, but she's beautiful, I think. It's the perfect size. Um, it's got just the right number of projects to keep me interested um, without feeling completely and totally overwhelmed. Yeah, so I'm very happy here. Um, I have so many projects, so many projects. They're endless. But for me, that's um, completely the whole point. I love waking up every morning and having a massive list of tasks that I can just work through. Usually I get through like 25% of them if I'm lucky. But then I wake up the next day and I have that massive list of tasks again. And the tasks are all super enjoyable for me. So I really love this place. I love all the jobs. I love learning all the stuff. Um, I love that I can accumulate new skills as I work on my land and as I work on my building. I can go at my own pace um, and I can really take the time to create uh, a beautiful space. Uh, that's exactly how I want it. It's honestly the perfect place for me right now and I can see myself living here for long into the future and uh, dying here and being buried under a tree perhaps in the future. Uh, living the dream, you know, buried under a tree. So I hope you enjoyed uh, the little tour of my land. Um, up next, or up soon, will be probably a little intro about who I am. How does a nice Canadian girl end up in a place like this? Um, a tour of my house, once I can tidy up the horrificness of it. And then I'll probably start publishing some videos of stuff that I filmed back in the day when I first started. Um, so I'll travel back in time and uh, see sort of some of the things I've been working on back then and show what they look like today. So I think I've got a lot of cool things uh, ahead on this channel and I'm excited to see that it's off to a really positive start with lots of subscribers. So uh, I guess thanks for coming along on the ride and uh, yeah, let's see where this crazy YouTube journey goes and let's see how my land develops. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited to show you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.